What's up guys, Jordan Anderson here from Valley Films and today we're going to be talking about what's in a grip belt. Let's talk about some grip equipment. So this episode is not going to be the sexiest episode you've ever seen about filmmaking, but this is probably one of the key tools that you need to have as a cinematographer, mostly because on smaller sets, they usually don't have their own grip or gaffer, so usually the cinematographer and the first AC, or just the cinematographer, has to do all the gripping and all the gaffing. Um, so the grip belt here, you just clip it on around your side. Um, the important part about having it on your side and always attached to you is that you're not having to run off set to go get some supplies, that you always have your supplies with you no matter where you are, no matter where the camera is. So the first thing are the safety gloves. Uh, when you're on set you're obviously working with a lot of hot lights and that can get pretty dangerous and that can burn your hands a lot of times. So it's always good to have a, some safety gloves. You can even use like gardening gloves as long as they're like hard leather. These I got at Home Depot for about 10 bucks and you, know, you slip them on, you're good to go. Now you can touch hot lights without being burned. And uh, even these have like iPhone fingertips, which I thought was pretty cool. So after that, let's talk about some clamps here. Uh, I have plenty of clamps and honestly, you can never have too many clamps. Uh, I have little pony clamps that are rubberized and also have plastic pony clamps. Pony clamps have a lot of use. You can clamp them on uh, big diffusion sheets and uh, usually you get the metal ones so that they're re heat resistant. Um, for plastic ones, you can like, if you need to clamp something down, it's always important. They have a lot of uses. You can never have too many of these. Let's talk about the next part. Uh, these are classic. You got the C47s to the normal person. These are called clothespins. These are great for pinning up gels onto lights, so if you need to put on a CTO, a CTB, some black wrap. Um, but these allow enough pressure onto the gel without tearing it. And if you lose one, like whatever. Next, uh, this is probably my most important tool. This is my Leatherman tool kit. I always keep this around. You've got every sort of tool you can need. Pliers, knives, screwdrivers. This is probably my number one used tool here, that flathead screw. Uh, that's always what I use for all my tripods. Uh, either this is in my grip belt or this actually has a belt loop so I keep this pretty even closer than my grip belt. Uh, the next one you're going to have is a flashlight. Uh, sometimes you have the power outage and if you're shooting at night and the power goes out because your lights are too powerful for the circuit, it's always good to have one of these uh, so you can find that fuse box and solve the problem. The next thing I have here is a multi-plug. You're working with a lot of electricity all the time and sometimes there may only be one plug in the entire building. So it's good to have just a kind of three splitter. Um, also, I would invest in some good power strips uh, that are can take on heavy workloads. The next three, three things I have here are pins, pencils, and markers. So I have an Expo marker here. I use this for uh, my follow focus so I can mark it on the little dry erase white ring. Uh, I have a sharpie here in case I need to label something, uh, say like media, if I put on some tape and label, you know, SD card one, SD card two, used, not used, I can have that. And having a pen, you know, we're always having scripts on set, scripts are flying back and forth, we're making notes. As a cinematographer, it's always good to make some notes on the side of the script for the director to see having a pen is very important. Finally we have here is tape. Well, you've probably seen uh, camera carts where they have like 50 different types of tape, duct tape, colored tape, pink tape, green tape. Tape is very important in the filmmaking world. Uh, tape can prove to be a lot of usage. You can hold things together, you can label things, you can prevent things from being overridden like a memory card. Actually we're going to have a separate episode that will go through all of these tapes. Uh, Hey, so you're kind of explaining what each one does. So thanks for watching guys. My name is Jordan Anderson from Valley Films. I'm going to link all this in the description, all the prices and the uh, links to Amazon. You can get all this, like I said, for about $50 or less. 
If you have any questions, send it to me on Twitter. I'll be happy to answer. We will see you next week on the Valley Films video blog.